IndyCar driver James Hinchcliffe has made a remarkable comeback from a serious crash before the Indy 500 two years ago. Well, his love life is also a unique comeback story. Our Rich Nine tonight shows us how two former high school classmates found a little romance after some years apart. Long before James Hinchcliffe survived a near fatal accident and came back to win the Indy 500 pole and then danced with the stars, he was a Canadian teenager chasing his dream to be a race car driver. Hinchcliffe was also chasing a prom date after he broke up with his girlfriend a few days before the event. Desperate, he asked the friend of a friend from acting class, Rebecca Dalton. She thinks that it was much closer to the actual date than that. Oh yeah, I remember it being the morning of. No, there's no way, I wouldn't do that to you. And I, you remember me on the phone saying, how am I gonna get a dress in time? And I remember thinking, <laughs> what a ridiculous statement, you have like three days. It was a strictly platonic date, because frankly I was terrified of her. You know, she was pretty much the prettiest girl in school. And, uh, and I, I got to rock up with her on my arm. And uh, you know, that was awesome for a nerd like me. Hinchcliffe graduated and fulfilled his dream to race Indy cars. You can stop acting this way. Dalton graduated and fulfilled her dream to be an actress. Her many credits include the current series Good Witch on the Hallmark Channel. The rising stars in two different worlds of entertainment did not see each other for almost 12 years. When you try and kill yourself at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Rich, it, it brings a lot, of, uh, a lot of unexpected attention onto you. <laughs> Dalton followed the news about Hinchcliffe's 2015 accident, but several months passed before she reached out through their mutual friend from high school, which led to a first date a few months later. Listen, look at me, look at the allergies, illness, anything. No, no, I don't know, I don't know. Just, just stay back, stay back. Seatbelt bruising, it doesn't look good. Dalton actually once portrayed the girlfriend of a seriously injured race car driver in an episode of the CTV drama Saving Hope. The first thought was, I would never be able to ever do this. <laughs> Sorry. And here we are. <laughs> wrong <-o. laughs> I know her as one thing, and then she's obviously on screen portraying someone else. It's do weird having a conversation with her about her, but it's not her, it's someone else, you know? <laughs> but, uh, but no, I, I, I love watching her perform. I think, it's, I think it's really cool. Honestly, every time I see him on track, I'm, I'm so proud. <laughs> I really am. Rebecca has moved to Indianapolis with three-year-old cockapoo, Lucy. Sometimes I think we reconnected just so these two could find each other. It's true. Her and I, uh, <laughs> Lucy and I, have a pretty special bond. <laughs> yeah. you're, no, you're great, too. But hi, know. sweetie. Mwah. Yes, yeah. good girl. We honestly spend all day, every day laughing. It's just one big joke all the time. <laughs> you make that sound bad, but you're I right. Do. I know what you mean. No. The Indy 500 is no joke and Hinchcliffe wants to impress his prom date with a win in the greatest spectacle in racing. I'm Rich Nye, Track Team 13. And Rebecca will attend that. her first Indianapolis 500 this month. That's right, now there were plenty of laughs also when Rich was hanging out with him to Rebecca. And we have more of their chat on WTHR.com, including just how does he really feel about her filming those romantic scenes. Mm. 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 Mm.